this extended video, we're going to see how we can use the solid by extrusion along path tool to basically extrude out, creating a little sample piping area here. I'm going to go to my modeling workflow. I'm going to go to solids tab. Tools called extrude along. This is it. First method is going to be circular. I've got my attributes set. I've set my inner and my outer diameter. I'm going to pick this complex chain. I get a preview. I data to accept. There's my first example. Next one, I have these three complex chains. All three of them are identical. I'm going to be extruding the circle along here. Now, I could have used the circular, but I wanted to be able to do all three of these pipes at the same time. I'm going to use the custom profile. I'm going to select the first path. First, I need to set my attributes. I'm going to select the first path. And then to select the profiles, I'm going to hold the left button down. And you can see I'm doing a crossing line. But if I hit Alt, it lets me do a rectangle. So I'm going to select all three of those profiles. I data to accept. There's my three pipes drawn in. Next example is going to be an I-beam. So to see this clearly, I want to isolate things out. So I'm going to go to my element selection. I'm going to select the profile here and my path. And then to turn everything else off, I do a shift, right click, display set set. Now all I see are those elements there. I'm going to go back to my extrude along tool. Again, we're using the custom profile. I'm going to match the attributes of my profile because that's the attributes of my I-beam. I'm going to alt left click or alt data. I pick my path, I pick my profile, I see a preview, data to accept, there it is. To bring everything back, shift, right click, display set clear. Everything's returned. Next example, I'm going to show you how did I create those paths. So I'm going to set my attributes here for path. And again, I'm going to isolate things out so you can see what it is that I'm about to do. So I'm going to go to my space bar, bring my pop-up menu, which I have customized extensively. I'm going to go to element selection. I'm going to select this pit, this wall, and that tank. Shift, right click, display set set. Now all we see are those elements. Makes it a little bit easier to visualize here. So what I'm going to be doing is drawing a line from the end of the pipe, six feet out, down to the center of that hole, through the hole, make a turn, and go down into the pit. So I've got my attributes set. I'm going to go to my Play Smart Line tool. Again, I've added that to my spacebar pop-up. I'm going to start my line here, do a data. Now my AccuDraw compass happens to be in the front orientation, which works for me. So I'm going to move my cursor around so you can see this side. I'm going to move it out. I'm going to type in 6. Make sure I'm indexed. I'm going to data. Now I'm going to go straight down. The distance I want to go down is the center of that hole. So I'm going to lock it by hitting Enter. I'm locked on the axis. I go to the center of the hole. I data. Now I'm ready to go through the hole. So we can rotate our view around. Move my cursor through here. Hit enter again, locking me on the axis. I'm going to go to the center part of that pit. I data. Now I'm ready to go down the pit. So again, hitting enter, locking me on the axis. I go to the bottom. I data. Reset, right button. And now I've drawn in my path. That's how easy it is to do it in 3D. Now it's time to extrude. I'm going to be doing the circular. Let's set our attributes, large pipes, select the path. I see the preview, data to accept. Now you can see I've drawn my path, which goes from the end of the tank down through the hole into the pit there. To bring everything back, shift right click, display set clear, and everything comes back. And that's how easy it is to do piping in just plain old MicroStation.